I have always loved working on my MacBook Air. It's light, portable and looks great. So when the Lenovo Yoga Book came in for review, I was immediately attracted to its form factor and was tempted to give it a go. So, for a week I decided to use the Windows 10 version of this laptop for most of my work and play to see if it's only about the look and feel or is it really cool to work on as well. This is Abhijit Mukherjee from Guiding Tech and let's get started. Let's take a look at some numbers first. This new gadget will set you back by around rupees 50000 in India or $500 in the US. It comes in both Windows 10 and Android versions, but the Android version isn't available here in India yet. The processor is Intel Atom X5 Z8550, which is clocked at 2.4 GHz with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage, which is expandable up to 128 GB. The Yoga Book weighs only a little more than half a kilogram, which is around 690 grams, and at only 9.6 millimeters, it boasts a sleek and thin look. In fact, it pretty much looks like a paper notebook and is very comfortable to carry around. The display is a 10.1 inch Full HD that has a resolution of slightly more than 1080p at 1920 into 1200. When it comes to the ports, on the left there is the micro HDMI port and a micro USB port for charging. along with the speakers the indian version also comes with a sim card slot which means that you can connect to 4g lte on the go on the right you've got the headphone jack the volume button speakers and the power button so yes no usb or usb c ports the battery is 8500 mah which i must say has worked pretty well for me so far i should also say that i am impressed with the form factor of this 2 in 1 device as lenovo calls it the hinge is super smooth and turning over the screen to use it as a tablet or keeping it on the desk to watch something is really a cake walk it's pretty interesting the way they have built it and how good it looks too because this isn't an easy technology to crack the screen rotation worked pretty well never got stuck in my tests next comes the futuristic keyboard that's not a physical one but a touch sensitive glowing halo keyboard which lights up immediately when it senses that you plan to use the device as a laptop and not as a tablet now this looks amazing for sure but i wish it worked as good as it looks it's just not comfortable to use and the trackpad is way too small my fingers kept forgetting the size of the trackpad and i would hit the space bar above it all the time while typing i also found myself often using the touch screen to scroll instead of the trackpad not sure if i can get used to this keyboard in the longer term but for now it just doesn't cut it This surface also works as a digital drawing board and you can use the stylus or the pen that comes in the package to scribble or draw stuff. Tapping on the pen button at the top will activate the drawing surface. The cap of the pen is a little too tight for my liking and sometimes I had to pull it out quite forcefully. You could also use the magnetic pad that comes in the box to take notes while using the touch screen to research on the side. Should come in handy for students. You will also find some real ink nibs in the pen box and you could replace the digital nib with the real ink nib and then write directly on paper to see it show up as it is on the screen. Pretty cool if you ask me. Two points to note here. You could use any paper and not just the Lenovo pad to do it and secondly, replacing the nib is a bit tricky. Make sure to tilt the cap slightly to pull out the nib smoothly. When it comes to overall performance and using it as your primary work device, It really depends as to what you do. If you are a student who likes the idea of having a digital drawing board with a fairly usable computer at your disposal, then this might be the right choice. But for things like gaming and multitasking, this isn't the right device because the specs are not exactly suitable for such tasks. However, when it comes to media consumption and watching stuff on the go, I could use this any day over my iPad mini. It's super light, has a great battery life. which lasted 9 hours in my day to day usage and did i say it was super light the dual speakers with dolby audio premium are pretty good if you ask me but then i'm not an audio file or a music buff so if you are one of those who's very particular about audio then you might do well with external speakers the touch screen works well as a tablet you shouldn't have a problem doing basic browsing keep in mind though that both windows and android don't have great tablet apps and lag far behind iOS in this aspect so don't expect to get an amazing tablet experience 
There are also two cameras on the device that could be used to make video calls or take photos. But they are average at best and not using this device to take photos would be ideal. Overall, this is quite a creative and innovative 2-in-1 device by all means and Lenovo has really nailed the hardware here. As a lightweight, portable media consumption machine, this device hits a home run. But when it comes to real work and resource heavy tasks, this is unlikely to cut it for you. It will be interesting to see how Lenovo upgrades the yoga book in its next version and when it comes out, we will be sure to take it for a run too. Until then, this is Abhijit signing off. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.